Hey you, so on this video, best time to flip your coins, I'm going to be speaking on just that. Now it's going to be from my own personal experience that at some point on what I'm about to break down, I've gone on to flip the coin and it work in my favour or just a current strategy that I may have when it's going to be time to flip certain coins. So I've got these coins on here, display here. And I'm going to break straight into this. Now, I, I say this because I've been asked a few times, how do I know when? It's like a manual somebody would ask you, basically. So you pick up this coin and this specific coin. And then, you know, two days later, you put it on eBay. It, it doesn't work like that. As with everything, and especially something like this, and especially a market that we're involved in when we're talking about collector coins here. And it's going to be purely on the collector coins. It's not as straightforward as that. It's going to be different for every single individual a lot of things are going to play where you're located on the planet um what resources you choose to tap out to whether you go via a dealer whether you go um on the secondary market whether you're forum based and this is why whenever i get a question like that it's it's normally something whereas you're gonna have to figure that out yourself i've come across individual individuals where i've given them that answer and then eventually they've basically said look it wasn't for them um you know they they did give it a try but where they was located on the planet it didn't work out for them they was paying high premiums for silvers and anything so it worked out better for them to just go ahead and just do um straight bullion for them now i've come across individuals where they've been having a field day doing exactly the same thing here because they're basically the only guy there technically as an individual the local coin store and a better option than ebay and the likes of so if you was interested in doing now even getting into a few collector coins to flip this isn't going to appeal to a collector or somebody that wants to stack these coins for the long term and get into the series. I've mentioned many times I'm a cowboy investor. Whenever I'm getting these collector coins, I want to be able to flip them, especially when I'm buying more than one for more profit to put into straight bullion to increase my stack. So as I would say with these, when we're talking about uh, a new coin, which would be the first um, example I'm going to give, and specifically in silver, I would highlight more on if there was a flipping window and I was going to give an answer to that, I would say the best time that I've personally experienced with a coin, the best time to flip that coin is, I would say, within 30 days. Now, it doesn't need to specifically be bang on dead, but a lot can happen within that 30 day window. Now, I've had coins that I've purchased from the dealer. I wouldn't say the dealer was clawing to release them to me because I locked in at a fantastic price to begin with. But, you know, before they were sent out to me, I was asked if I wanted to resell them back for a smaller profit at the time. But I was interested. And of course, I said, no, I wanted the coins in the hand. These were the swans. If you don't know what I'm referring to here. And I went on to receive them and then get back in communication with the dealer. Now, why I say the 30-day window here is because the dealer was getting flooded with inquiries on the coins and they had sold out. A lot of things went into play here and it's the swans I'm referring to here. It's one of the many trades that I've done now. It, it worked in the favor because it was a first and not because it was a first. It was because of a first that even with the Perth and the Royal Mint, they didn't know how much of a big success it was going to be. I mean, when you reduce the mintages to damn near 25k it's, it's guaranteed to do well as long as it takes off i can't see perth and i think they even know this they can't see themselves releasing a coin with a 25k mintage and it not selling out or just dragging its feet it's got to the point where a lot of us um individuals that either get into this for flipping or even just collecting are waiting on the edge of our seats for any new release because it gets bored real fast in this market so the dealer had ran out of them and you know i just purchased a large amount of them so uh they contacted me and asked if i'd be interested in selling and so at first i brushed it off and was of the mindset that i would hold on to them for a later date that was the gameplay so it's a common gameplay a lot of people use but then i really looked into it and saw what i could get off of that trade and the trade that worked out in my favor, which I've done videos on, was that it needed to be done immediately. And I was in contact with two dealers at the time that had inquired whether I'd be interested in releasing some. I did end up releasing them to two separate dealers. And you saw the videos I'd done on that for uh, here's what I got for my trade. But both wanted them yesterday. 
you know, and it's not nothing I'm giving away here, but it was like, you know, while the hype was right, which I've spoken a, a thousand times as well, and the hype was at its peak, I would say within, you know, they got them, well, I believe I've ordered them on pre-order, so, you know, by the time they had sold out, they hadn't even received the coins yet, so I would say within that whole pre-order to them receiving, to them shipping, was within a two-week period, so that was two weeks. Then you had the individuals that couldn't get them and the price is shooting up. A lot of the times you'll find individuals, especially with the Royal Mint coins, they'll purchase their pre-order and put it straight on eBay. And you know, they can do, and it'll be clearly stated that you'll receive the coin once they receive the coin, but they have it on a pre-order. So that just goes to show these individuals are also smart in my eyes and that they can sell it for anywhere from 10% to whatever percentage from there. But I choose 30 days personally because within that time frame you can see a good indication of what they're selling for and then pick your price on what you're willing to accept or sell them for. Now me personally, I don't want to sell for the top so the coin is I don't know £30 or $30 and it's now selling for 150 or the likes of I'm more than happy selling that at 90 especially for the price that I picked it up for because you know I believe in letting everybody get some of the cake, some of the cake you know and not just eating it all up and it will also move a lot faster this is why I prefer dealing with dealers because it's easy, smooth, and especially if it's going to be a smooth transaction, saves you a lot of hassle along the way. So that's where I can gauge my price. I could have held out on certain coins and it hasn't worked in my favor when I've done that in the past and gone on to sell for more. So 30 days is a perfect window if you want, if you're interested and want to do a quick flip. Now you can get a sign of the market if you've got a coin, purchased it specifically for flipping and it's not budging within that time frame. It could be a number of things. Now, um, when we're talking about these Rwandan coins that I'm showing off that I've done these flips on a few times, being very profitable, it can be when you're looking at a coin like this coin here, the rooster, for instance, you're in a situation where this coin becomes a uber key coin in my eyes because they increase the mintage by an extra 88 at a later date. So on the second release, you have uh, extra 88 coins, whereas the first you have 100 coins. Now this is just for their lunar range they've done this on, which leaves this coin, and I'll get onto this in a moment, even more desirable. But you know, you can really get a feel of the market if you've picked it up and you wanna sell it. It may be a high ticket piece, what we're talking about, and this one I was specifically talking on silver a moment ago and not so much on gold, but I'll touch on the golds in a moment. So I would say for the first, for the quick term, if you want to do a flip, the best window I would say is 30 days. Look to acquire the coin and within the same time you could be putting it up for sale or putting feelers out there on eBay or forums that you're going to have the coin and flip it from there. That's what you want to do within 30 days. Now, if we get onto a situation where you intend to flip, but it's more mature. Now, more mature would put us in the second situation that I've also been in, whereas I had coins I purchased and when I picked them up, it was the, you know, I'll sell them at a later date or let's see how well they do tomorrow. These were coins that I owned that weren't at arm's length. So when I'd gone to do a checkup on them, um, I was just inquiring on what they were doing price wise. I think a good one would have been the 5kg silver Armenian coins that I put up. You know, I was just checking on them, making sure everything was nice and fine. And at the same time, I was doing a little... Um, Google search on my phone just to see how well they were selling. If I'm involved in these collector coins, it's something I'm always doing, especially a coin that I want to flip at a later date. So at the time, give it, I will say, spot, silver spot price was rather strong at that time. And so I saw they was doing well. I inquired with the dealer that put down how much they would pay for the coins. They gave me more than they was actually advertising as they wanted these, had no problem selling them. So I went ahead and flipped those. Now, a mature window there would be anything from a three to six months plus. And this is going to be a coin for me. The situation was I just went around looking. I, it was just a coincidence. I was able to look at the same time. But I think if you want to have a coin mature more, and this is where I get more into the gold coins, because gold coins, because everybody knows it's more of a rich metal, I think you can get more for the gold. 
so it's best to let it mature so you can really figure out what you can get for that coin and sometimes they do need more to mature once again this is just off of my own personal experience it can be something as simple as individuals see the silver as a cheaper option mentally or you know even when you're selling it for many multiples more than the gold and which has been the case for me when we're talking about these coins in general i was able to sell the silver for a lot more multiples than the gold you know and i couldn't tell you what that is but it was you can only look at it and say it must have been more affordable to individuals and they was able to flip it even then further on for more money but the gold it you will find a buyer for it but it will take a bit more time to mature now I look at this and especially when we're talking about a mature flip from the three to six months as it's a piece I picked up with that in mind. I would have no issues holding on to these coins for the long term and doing something I've never done from beginning um, stacking a coin to the last coin and making it all the way to the end with a complete series. It's not something I pick up and personally want to do. I don't get that emotionally attached to these pieces, but you know, if it came to that I would have no problem selling and this is what it came to each time especially when the coins pick up more traction and you know on a gold piece you're going to be charging that premium if you've graded it and whatever whatever from there but these coins can take a little bit more time to sell especially as not straight fresh off the press especially when you're talking a whole ounce of gold and that's just been my once again my own personal experience with these but they will sell for me it's a situation where I look at it and I say, you know, when you're holding a gold piece like this, and especially if you've put everything into it for a flip, and once you realize you may need to go long, and uh, that's not your first, if you haven't got that pre-planned, then you could be setting yourself up. You're gonna be waiting on two things, really. You're gonna be waiting on for a spot increase, and now some may laugh and think, well, you'll be waiting forever, but that's how a lot of individuals see their collector pieces. If you're in this bullion game in general, for just investing or a hedge against inflation, that's gonna be an option, you know? We all know spot has increased and decreased, and it will do it again. So you're either gonna be waiting for that situation to happen, and if it's a collector piece you paid a premium for, I don't know how you may feel about that. Or, as with me, you'll wait for a price too good to refuse. And that's what happened with a lot of the gold pieces that I've had. Individuals have contacted me when the coins were just released, you know. And, you know, I, I hear it all the time. And it's just, it, I don't blame them. I do it myself. And it'll be just coins just came out and you want X, Y, and Z for it. You know, you're having a laugh. But it is what it is, you know. Individuals in other collector markets pay ridiculous money we're talking pieces of cloth here so to believe that it's a collector coin and you won't pay that and you've just become your own personal um, you know wealth advisor and you believe it should be this you just need to look at any other market that's not got any type of intrinsic value metal and just really get to grips with yourself you always get to fall back on the metal content when we're talking precious metal here especially gold so you'll find individuals i've had individuals contact me in the past and do that and then later go on to contact me three four months down the line because the piece they believed wouldn't would come up for cheaper didn't happen and purchase the piece at, at even further increased price and that's just the way the game goes so for me with a lot of these high premium gold pieces i'm more than willing to hold them and if the price too good to refuse comes along then i'll deny myself that pleasure of being able to complete a set for the first time so that's the markets and the windows that i see when we're talking about them so to break it down quickly in case i rambled a bit too much on a new piece especially if we're talking silver a fantastic and great window that's worked for me because a lot happens within that window has been within one month 30 days and you're damn near good to go you should be able to depend on what you want if you want to wait to the very end and see what dealers and other individuals are selling for then put yours up anything within that window is a good time and then when you're talking more gold or even more higher higher premium pieces and the mature pieces you really need to find out what you want but there is an easy way to put this and you could just say when is the best time to flip your coins whenever you can get maximum money you know whenever the price is just absolutely right but there's individuals that don't even see that as an option they see it more like uh, I'm gonna wait and hold it for 10 years and see what the market's like then I personally had coins that was good to go at a fantastic time and I didn't act upon it and it's 
affected that I now cannot get what I could have got then. So these are one of the main reasons why I also do these videos and put out my new course of action, you know, strike when the hype is ripe. But you know, this is how it goes for some individuals and other individuals. So hey or I love it, it'd be fantastic to hear your thoughts and comments from when you think the best time is to flip a coin or do you not absolutely do it at all. Once again, this is just going to be for those individuals into collector coins or higher premium coins that do want to flip them at a later date. It'll be great to hear when you think is a good time to flip the pieces or when have you flipped the piece at the best premium time that's worked out for you. Was it just a chance thing or did you see prices just going too high and think why not get some of this action, you know. We've all, once again mentioning the um, Peter Rabbit coin seeing what half an ounce of silver can do it's damn near selling for more than the price of a gold ounce so it, it's definitely not dead collector coins are going to continue to be made and produced by the mints and there's going to be a market of individuals purchasing these coins out there it may be dead in your region but it's most definitely not dead worldwide you will always see coins purchased at a set price and sold on at a later date for a higher price so the, this collector market in the precious metal game ain't going nowhere there's still opportunities out there but they have become very slim for us involved but it, as it evolves we must evolve so hey i love it guys be fantastic to hear your thoughts in the comments don't forget to come and follow me on the links that i've left in the description don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and i'll catch you guys on the rebound